I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more and more, Jesus. I want to know you more and more, more and more. More and more. More and more, more and more. I want to love you more and more. I want to love you more and more. I want to love you more and more, Jesus. I want to love you more and more, more and more. More and more. More and more, more and more. I want to love you more and more. I want to love you more and more. I want to love you more and more, Jesus. I want to love you more and more, more and more. More and more. More and more, more and more. I want to serve you more and more. I want to serve you more and more. I want to serve you more and more, Jesus. I want to serve you more and more, more and more. More and more, more and more. More and more, more and more. More and more. More and more, more and more. More and more, more and more. I want to praise you more and more. I want to praise you more and more. I want to praise you more and more, Jesus. I want to praise you more and more and more. I say more and more. Oh, yes, more and more. I want to bless you more and more. Lord, I want to bless you more and more. Oh Lord, I want to bless you more and more, Jesus. I want to bless you more and more, more and more. Oh yes, more and more. More and more, more and more. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more and more, Jesus. I want to know you more and more, more and more. I say more and more. I say more and more. Oh yeah, more and more. I say 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 more and more. Know him 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 more and more. I say more and more. Know you 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 more and more. Amen. You can be seated. You are welcome to cleansing and power for evangelism 2021. Cleansing and Empowerment for Evangelism, 2021. Amen. We are not just on cleansing, which we trust. 
Many should have maintained their righteousness. But we are also for empowerment for evangelism. So our focus this year is not absolutely cleansing as we did last year. But we add empowerment for evangelism. This is a project going on in Holiness Revival Movement, which we have specified worldwide in Jesus' name. The vision of evangelism before us is in this wise. Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah chapter 1. From verse 1. The ways of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah. And it came to pass in the month Kislu, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity and concerning Jerusalem. We see here Nehemiah expressing heartfelt concern and love for his people. Not all the Jews went into captivity. Some remained in Jerusalem. So, Nehemiah had become a great man in a foreign country. But his mind had been in his land. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. If I forget you. That is the cry of a Jew. I will not forget you. Is their pride. Is their glory. So when he asked, now, those Jews that are still there, in Jerusalem. How are they doing? Then. Verse 3. And they said unto me. The remnant that are left of the captivity. There in the province. Are in great affliction. And reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down. And the gates thereof are burnt with fire. Wonderful. They presented three things. The people there are in great affliction. Their surrounding nations are torturing them badly. They cannot make noise. They cannot say anything for themselves. They are under hard labor, like in the days of Egypt. The walls surrounding the city 
have been pulled down. So they are exposed. They are not protected at all. And the gates of Jerusalem have been burned. So the gates are open. Anybody can walk in and walk out day and night. Now, it came to pass. When I had these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days. I fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Four things followed my hearing this. Immediately I heard these words. I was standing, talking with them. I quickly went and sat down because of sorrow. Number two, I wept. That day, immediately I heard that. I started crying. My voice was out crying. Is that the state of my people? Is that the place of our glory? Is that the historical place of honor in the world? Has it degenerated to this level? And I boast about telling people I'm from Jerusalem. I'm from Jerusalem. I'm from the city of our God. I'm from the nation that serves the Lord. I wept. Then I moved. My face was dull for days. My face was dull. I moved. I wept immediately. I mourned longer time. You can moon for a whole day, two days, a whole week. For a long period. And then I mourned certain days and I fasted the third thing. I fasted for a period. And finally, I prayed before the God of heaven. Who is the solution? The answer. The one that will do the miracle. I fasted. Amen. So, that we are doing something like this. <laughs> I've been trying to let it known to you. But, Jesus said, the thing which I am saying, you cannot understand them now. What I am saying, some of you cannot understand. What I am saying, it will take you to come to a state before you understand them. If you have not reached that state, you may not understand. But may God grant you understanding. What am I saying? Christianity at present is in the state of Jerusalem and the remnant that I escaped that are living in Jerusalem. The Christianity we are seeing today is like that. 
God has given me specially understanding of Christianity. How it ought to be is not today. It's longer time, right in the 80s, that God had opened the eye of my understanding to Christianity. The eye of my understanding has been enlightened. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15. Wherefore, I also. After I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe that the eyes of your understanding should be enlightened so you will be able to see this condition has to happen before you will see that Christianity is now a form of religion. But the real power is not there. The real life is not there. It will take divine understanding. That's God giving you, walking in you. The Holy Spirit opening your eye to see. One time, somebody, that's a long time ago, Many, many years ago, maybe in the 80s, somebody tested me. Testing me, so a bacteria in my stool and brought me to look into my stool and see the bacteria. Because with my eyes, I couldn't see the bacteria. So he said, now, put your eye in the microscope. Close the other eye and look through this. Can you see it? I said, look, I could see the bacteria. That's what I mean. With your two eyes like that, you will not see it. You need the Holy Spirit to open your understanding to see. I pray as Elisha prayed for his servant. Lord, open his eyes that he might see. May the Lord open your eyes that you may see. I looked at Catholicism, which is more than half of the rest of Christians. 
of Christianity. There's no hope there. There is no hope of going to heaven in Catholic. But how will they understand? They will not understand. There is no salvation for the Catholic priests, father, catechists, how much less the members. That one is gone. If the Lord can recover anything there, <laughs> I don't know, in his mysterious way, it means he has to keep such a person from Hail Mary. He has to keep such person from the idolatry of the rosary. He has to keep that person from maybe the mass and the idolatrous works in Catholic and the images. Then how many people could be there? Is then the Lord would have sent some secret agents to still be there for some enlightenment and evangelism among them. Appearing there, but not doing what they are doing. Just as Satan does the reverse, in a righteous organization, righteous church, he sends people that there's no way you can convert them. They will be like you in everything, but not for conversion. It's like the duck that goes into water and comes out and there's no sign that water touched the feathers. So if such ones are in the Catholic, okay. Or maybe the little children that are there that have not reached the age of accountability. Otherwise, forget it. Heaven and Catholicism very poor. Very poor. Then, check other places. I look at Equa. Equa is preaching eternal security. That once you are born again, you are ever born again. So you don't have problem with... So the doctrine of holiness is weak. Because once you have given your life to Christ, you have been baptized, that's all right. You are going to heaven. Your name is in heaven. Nothing can happen to cleanse your name from heaven. Even if you become an arm robber. It's only you are a child of God that became an arm robber. But you are a child of God. You are a child of God that became a, a thief. That went to fornicate. That committed adultery. Uh, if you have a dog and the dog went and ate some animal, will he not come back to the house? Is it not your dog? Praise the Lord. That is their doctrine. Eternal security. With this, there is liberty to sin. Without any trouble. And with this, the power to be holy is weak. Just is as enter into the school, make sure you write your name, pay the school fees, do your registration, then you can go. After five years, come and collect your certificate. Whether you continue in the school or not, your name is in the register. And there's nothing the school can do because at least the school should know that it, they register you. They register you. So you have come. But why were you not in school? I have other reasons why I was not in school. But my name is there. <laughs> you must give me a certificate. 
the one who stays in school is because he wants more knowledge. That's why he remained in the school. For me, I was not looking for real knowledge. I just wanted to be identified with a school. If you have something like that, how many students will be in the school there? No exam, nothing. That is how far the devil has taken them. And many of these churches are like that. Others have no knowledge of Jesus. What is the Jesus talking about? They have no knowledge of him. Because the preachers themselves don't know him. The preachers don't know him. So they also don't know him. And this constitute majority of the Protestant Christianity. Majority of the Protestant Christianity. Those who are leading them don't know God. The priest says not. Where is the Lord? Mm -mm. They don't know him. They come, they dance. In fact, there was one of these places we went among my tribal people, a village. The Lord revealed to us that the witches and wizards do their meeting in the church because only one person is not, was not a witch. From the pastor coming down to the members, all are witches and wizards. So when they go to church in the morning, they do whatever they like, including spiritual meeting. Only one person stays ignorant. They can confuse that person and they put him aside and do their meeting. That is the state. No God. There's no God there. The opening of the Bible. <laughs> One of such boys told me, somebody, he was invited to preach. He said, anytime he had occasion to preach, he gets drunk so that he, won't, he will not respect the witches and wizards that are in that church. He will not respect because to them the greatest sin is witchcraft that they must be dealing with. So he will not respect anybody in that church because he's drunk already. Let's go. Is it not what is happening in your place? Is it the same? Is it different community? It's the same. The same. The zealous ones are political. Who is going to be the chairman, the president? The best ones still don't, are not practicing holiness, so they cannot preach it. Best ones are not practicing holiness, so they cannot preach it. So this is the state of many evangelicals. But then you will find some light among them. Little here, little there. Light shines. But is the light shining perfectly? Dimly. The presence of some maybe sincere, committed ones. They're very sincere and committed. But like the Ethiopian, you know. How can I, unless some man teach me, and the some man is not among them? That is their state. Then when you come to Pentecostals, these ones now, somebody properly gave them a name. I say Pentecostal rascals. These are the owners of Pentecostal Christianity. Theirs is to jump. Sha! Everybody say amen. <laughs> okay, right on. <laughs> and here lies great competition. The devil gives vision to many to go and be on their own. So it becomes now a competitive game to get members and the competition has led many to satanism 
It is power. Show me your power. It has led them now to burying things in the pulpit, hanging things on the door, employing herbalists to supervise, speaking in demonic tongues or in pretenses. Can you see? Now, where is the Christianity? And these are in the majority. Now, churches are playing football match against another. Church A is going to play match against church B. To know which church is better. Which church can play more? Idleness. When gold was taken away from the temple, silver and brass was the next thing that replaced the temple. Now it is drum. Everybody should dance and feel okay. And the dance is, since they are, they are, they are sinners, they dance, everybody dance according according to what is in your heart. Amen? Everybody dance according to what is in your heart. And I'm watching to ensure these dances don't come here. Because that's the flesh. You cannot please God with the flesh. Mild body shake. Okay. It's normal natural but vigorous stylish systematic movement no it's for man god is not inside you're happy i will not be happy when you're eating food are you not happy that is sweet is that how when you're eating food are you serving god at that time you are ministering to the flesh. So when you are dancing, you are ministering to the flesh. So you feel happy. You feel happy. But it's corrupting. You put all eyes from everywhere to yourself. And when you see it, you st it steers a pride inside you. You will be proud. It's natural. And Satan will send people to commend you. So that you will continue. Satan will send people to commend you. Hey, I saw you. But you can move. So that you plan to do more tomorrow. So we are just talking about the church. The gospel of Jesus is not there. Check it now. <laughs> Someone told me he was invited to a church. And in the negotiation, he was to preach for 20 minutes. In a church that the service will be more than three hours. So when it was his time to preach, he was also going to preach with interpreter, not directly in English. By the time he reached 19 minutes, everybody was complaining. Why is this preaching so long? What is he doing this thing for? Kai, this person is wasting time here. What? 19 minutes. The word of God is not there. The preacher will tell stories to please people and they laugh. Hey, our pastor. Hey, this man. In fact, I was holding my stomach. No, this is what is going on. If you come by there, you will weep. 
for this thing I wept. The comforter that shall comfort me is not around. The devil prevailed. Satan has prevailed. Now, what do we do? The few righteous churches that we know are deteriorating as if they have reached their peak and they are coming down. Ah. Okay. Then what do we do? Did Jesus actually come to the world? Is there really God in heaven? What's happening now? God, how are you feeling? I looked at the people. I cannot see people looking up to heaven. They're all looking straight before them because of some images, some pictures they are seeing that is entertaining them. God, what do we do? Not even to talk among us that we struggled to bring some people. They refuse to have understanding. They refused. I read a story in a book of a woman that had a dream. In the dream, she found herself in heaven and was in a worship auditorium where they were worshiping God. Jesus was among them. Angels and saints all together. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praising God. And they told her, join us. He said, no. Join us in the worship. No. Ah. You don't see they're worshiping the creator. Come and join us. No. She refused. Then she woke up. She, then when she woke up, she was telling somebody, ah, I was in heaven. Worship was going on. I was invited to join them. I said, no, I will not. All persuasion failed. She finished narrating the story and died. What are you living for? You have been brought even to heaven. And your spirit rejects God. Where do I, what do we do again? What's the next thing? So we, we struggle. God in his way brought people right to the camp. Join Jesus. No. Join us to serve God. No. But you're here. That's man again. But leave that to another time because we're dealing with the generality of people that have no knowledge of God. What do we do? It's paining us. So, in our covenant with God for this year, we say, Lord, we're going to do something in evangelism. The gospel has not reached these people or has not reached them well. We have the gospel. The word of God the Lord has given to us in holiness movement has given to me the international director the knowledge of truth righteousness and holiness. I have it. 
and the life of truth, righteousness and holiness, I have it. Forget about Satan making noise to attack this movement. Forget about that. God, I've taught my members this. At least some firewood have, have caught the fire and are burning. And we're cooking things. We're getting things done. We're burning. Now what we're going to do this year is we are going to go around the world of holiness revival movement to cause people who come to join us in contributing anything they can give that they will give steadfastly for the whole year for purpose of evangelism. I can give 500 naira per month which means 500 times 12 is how much? 6,000 in a whole year. Okay, fine. I can give 1,000 naira in a month. 1,000 naira buying CD. Even if the CD is 150 naira can give us about 7 CDs. Which means you will be able to buy seven CDs for, uh, in, in every month for free distribution among men in our society. And in a year of 12 months, you have sent out seven times 12, which is 84 DVDs have been spread in human society. When the hunters enters into the bush and sets trap here, there, here, there. In the morning he comes to look at it. Some trap will have an animal there. Is that so? That is what we want to do. Oh, I can give two thousand. Fine. I can give 5,000 in a month. Beautiful. I can give 10,000 in a month. Excellent. Well, beautiful. Let's, get, let's just be going. I can give 100,000. I can give a million. Whatever the Lord will touch you. We will gather this money together and enter into massive production of literature. Memory cards. Obtaining of memory cards. MP3s, DVDs, audio CDs for free distribution in our society. So that the people should hear the message. We have the message. We have the message. The word of the Lord is with us. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 28 and 29. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor. Striving according to his walking, which walketh in me mightily. We preach this world. We teach this world. And we want to present every man perfect. We have the world of perfection. Salvation. Sanctification. Baptism in the Holy Spirit. Restitution. The coming of the Lord. Or marriage, one man, one wife, righteousness, holiness, love in marriage, everything, we have it. 
Let's go and spread it. I, as an individual, have preached, having recorded messages, up to how many, my brethren in the media? More than 1,000 messages. CDs that you can watch. Audios are there. I have them. I've preached in my language, Koteb language, and I have many messages in the language. I've preached in Hausa. I was once Hausa pastor. You hear me? Did I tell you before? I didn't tell you. When I was in deeper life, I was a Hausa pastor in Kanu. <laughs> In the original, original house of place. I'm telling you. There we spoke house of Banzabakwe. <laughs> when I was speaking, they said, Kai, this is deeper life. Your own is too much. You went to carry an Ibu man and now forcing him to speak outside in this place. <laughs> but God tried me true. So I have the messages. I was a pastor in Zamfara. I, pre I had morning session. English, a morning session, Hausa, English session comes after, came after Hausa session. I was handling them. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Even myself now, I'll be wondering, how, what was I saying at that time? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But they are there. We have messages translated to French and to various languages. Interpreted to Yoruba, interpreted to French, interpreted to Thief language, to Idoma too, interpreted to Igala, interpreted to Ibu, Igon, Igon. We have messages interpreted to Igon language. Eh? Baggy language. And we're still moving forward. We're still moving forward. Each message is a world of its own. It's a world of knowledge and understanding. Each message. The book, Superiority of Christianity, over all religions on earth came when I was preaching in Maraba, interpreted to a chain language that is in Senator Butcher's village. When the Lord gave me that message, I said, This message is great, it should be put into book. Then I walked it out into a big book, and it's a special book because there they have Muslims among them. When I was preaching that message, hey. People were getting ready in case they will, they will <laughs> in case some stones are coming, some in case any troop is running in. So in everybody get, was getting ready to to escape. They don't know that greater is he that is with us than he that is with them. So this is the vision. Nehemiah must do something about this matter. The, the walls of Jerusalem broken down should be built again. The gates should be built again. The people should be comforted, upgraded, and other nations should be made to respect them. It's the, it was the vision of one man. and it was, was it done? Was it done? It was done in 52 days. The wolf was finished. So, we want to do it. This year, have it in your mind. Put your money there. Even if it is 500 naira, put it there. Invest for heaven. Invest for heaven. 
the materials possibly might still be given back to you to go and give to your friends and your family members free. Let your own be inside too. Whoever is carrying, at least let it be said that you contributed for Jesus. And let's see if we cannot redeem some of these people. Surely, he that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, what shall happen? He shall come again, bringing his sheaves with him. We are going to farm. This is farming. Soul farming. We must harvest. When you look at the church, where are the people? Where are the men? Where are the mature people of this age grade? Where are even the people that are educated? Where are the top men? We will find them. You enter vehicle, talk there and distribute this thing. You go to where? Go to schools. Aim at when some schools, day schools, are closing. Go and stand at the gate and be picking them one by one. You know who you will pick. Take. Take. As he's going, his family will hear it. Is it not a youth? His family will hear it. Buy the MP3 in case... I don't have anything to watch. Satan is very fast. Now they don't even have a video player in their houses again. So even if you give them CD, they say, we don't know where to play it. He that winners souls is wise. We must get the devices. If it requires going to a house and say, I'm buying video and uh, TV for you. Buy the, buy the TV or the, the video player and the monitor or the TV. Buy it for them. And they say, take. Be watching it every day. It might cost you 50000 But the benefit is more than the crusades that we go to. You struggle, struggle. You can't find the people. We must do all to serve the people. This is the vision. You will post the materials to far country. Post to somebody in another place. Let him have it. And re Maybe the end has actually come. That's why the Lord is staring us to do this. This is truly radical evangelism. Maybe the end is really at hand. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're doing last job. We're doing it worldwide. I told you our brethren in America, they are preparing now for next February, they are going for 10 million for Jesus. 10 million. They are going to prepare a writing inviting people to all Horemo programs with some little, little words, inviting them to Horemo programs, Bible study, the website, and all. And we'll be sending it to 10 million people. 10 million people. They must, it's, a, it's, it's a project. It's a project. Because many are perishing because they have no heart. Let's go and look for them. Let's go and look for them. By the time they pass through 10 million, God will give them the portion. They will. Because God re rewards hard work. You hear? Go watch it and see when we do this, God will bring converts to us. I am rewarding your hard work. 
Thank you, Jesus. And this work will be done. The work is to be done in troublous times. Because this is the time Holiness Revival Movement is receiving the worst abuse. And whatever happened to these people, internet, internet, they knew we are coming. <laughs> so they want to harden the people before we come. But God will play them down. That's what we have before us. Is the vision understood? So, this week of cleansing, empowerment for evangelism is to prepare ourselves for this work. And pray that it should succeed. Our prayer this week and all around us, they shall be praying, God, bless this work. Bless this work. Bless this work. That is the prayer that shall be going on. God handled the enemy. Because Nehemiah told the people to hold their weapons in one hand and with the other hand to walk. Our prayers will be handling the enemies on the one hand and on the other hand, walk. Progress. Give us the people. Give us the people. Give us the people. So, that is what is going to go on. If they read it and their eyes open, what a wonder we have got them for Jesus. If you get one man, you, have, you get ten. You get one man. Get a zealous one man. You have even gotten a city. One woman of Samaria entered into that city. Come and see. She was an influential woman. The whole city came up for Jesus. Let's get the man. He will bring his family. Get the man. He will bring his church. Get the right pastor. Because they also knew already they are doing what heaven is not inside. They themselves are looking for salvation. So let them get the right man. We will be happy and God will be happy with us more and more. He is already happy. He will be happy the more. In Jesus name. Now, I want to hear from you. Which person got this gospel? Maybe our CD, our book, and read it with a great change, great testimony, and is standing for Jesus with joy. And you are aware of such a person. Can you raise up your hand? Give the microphone. Let's listen to testimonies of people who have listened to our tapes who have read our books and are so happy that, hey, what if I had died? I would have perished. Praise the Lord. The first testimony, the first person is myself. Amen. <laughs> By the grace of God, uh, God in his miraculous way made me to come across the book escaping hell and entering heaven the title that time was uh, divine revelation of uh, revelation of god's holiness and judgment and before then the first contact i would have had with holiness movement was uh, would have been in 2010 that was the year of uh, nigeria's silver uh, golden jubilee so there was a program that was to be held in the city new chelsea hotel 
and arrangement was made. So I just saw it in a news flash. The man that visited heaven and hell. So 50 year anniversary. And then the chief of uh, head of service or so was the one that invited them. So, but I look at the time, I will not be able to attend. That one passed. So it was my father-in-law, my late father-in-law that came to our house with, uh, came to visit us with one pastor that was in deeper life. One pastor, Roland, who was a district pastor. So they came with this book. Ah, ah. So within the short time they visited us in Maraba, I think that was early 2013 or so. So I just went through, they were speaking very well of the book. So I look at it, ah, I was so interested. So the rest of the visit we thought, I, I was just reading this. So he said, I should not worry that he's living in airport road, I can come and collect you. I said, can I get this book? He said, yes. I said, okay, that's good. I, will, I said, he said, I can come. I said, I'm even today, I'm following you. <laughs> so <laughs> that was how I came to where he was living, well, somewhere they call it uh, Aso Estate or uh, somewhere along this road. So I went there and bought the books and came back and read through this book. Hey, that was how my life changed. Because in, uh, though I have been in deeper life, I have even been a leader preaching and all that, but there were sins in my life that I covered up. Committed sins and covered up and will continue going. So, as I read this book, I, God showed me mercy. I repented and started my restitution. Amen. Yeah. This year, your wisdom will increase. Yeah. I will go. I will go. I will go and tell them Jesus is the Lord. Will you go? Will you go? Thank you. I will go. I will go. I will go and tell them Jesus is the Lord. Will you go? Will you go, sister, will you go, brother, will you go, brother, will you go, brethren, will you go, Sister, will you go? Make commitment. Tell the Lord you will go without shame. Make commitment. Your money will come into it. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Divine, our money will come into it. Our resources will come into it. We will go and tell them Jesus is the Lord. Oh. Hey. Hallelujah. My God, we will go and tell them Jesus is the Savior. Make a promise to God. Thank you, my Father. We are ready to go. 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 Father, we will go. Jesus.
Jesus, we will go. This vision must be committed to the Lord to protect it from the infancy. Right now, it, this is January. 
and we're taking it through the, throughout the year. We want to pray, Satan will not frustrate it. Amen. The God of heaven will protect this vision. Amen. We shall see it work out with our eyes. Amen. We shall hear that we have made converts. Amen. Our brother has made converts. Amen. Our sister has made converts. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. God protect the vision. Thank you. It has been protected. name we pray now you who want message in your language to spread is only to go to studio and give them any message you want to translate into your very dialect they will translate it we multiply it you move I say you move yeah. hallelujah so they will hear it in the very dialect. That's what will happen. May I have already? You will have to. God is going to do wonders. The old woman will hear. Now, listen to me. I'm going to sing a song now. Amen? This is our evangelism 2021. <laughs> because we are ready now to go. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved. As I go with the Lord, spreading out his word. The children will be saved now. The youths too will be saved. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved as I go with the Lord, spreading out his word. The children will be saved now. They used to will be saved. Don't you like it? Give a clap for it to Jesus. Everybody will be saved. Open your mother and say, Lord, it's time for them. It is time for them. It is time for them. It is time for them. Your brother will come in. It is time for them. Your sister will come in. Your parents, the old ones, the Lord will remember them. The children also, the Lord will remember them. The youths also, the Lord will remember them. In Jesus' name. Father, you will remember everyone. You will remember everyone. You will remember everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Repeat after me. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved. Now I take it, I take the two. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved. As I go with the Lord, spreading out his word. As I go with the Lord, spreading out his word. As I go with the Lord, spreading out his word. 
The children will be saved now. They used to will be saved. The children will be saved now. They used to will be saved. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved. As I go with the Lord, spreading out his word, the children will be saved now. They used to will be saved. My brother will be saved now. My sister will be saved. My parents will be saved now. My neighbors will be saved. As I go with the Lord, spreading out his word, the children will be saved now. They used to will be saved. Holiness revival movement worldwide. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the voice of, of the soldiers. Say, it is time now. Satan, give up. It, all this delay, Lord, they will be crushed out. Salvation is coming out from your, from your brother. Yes, yeah, from your parents. From the children, Amen. from the youths, Amen. salvation everywhere. Amen. Lift up your voice and say it shall be like that. Thank you, Jesus. grateful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. In Jesus name we pray. One of our brothers testified he said uh, I did not have a compassionate heart. That if somebody dies, I will weep for him until that heart got converted and the understanding of hellfire comes in. Then I cried for the person that dies. Where is he going? Now you need compassion. 500 naira is not too much to give to save somebody. 1,000 naira is not too much from your salary in a month. 2,000, even 5,010. And to those who are businessmen, what is it? The Lord gives you money in the hundreds of thousands, even millions. Spain for him. Pray that you have a heart that will feel for sinners. A heart that will have pity for the, for the eternal end. May God give you this heart. May God give you this heart. Father, we are praying for the compassionate heart. That you give unto us a heart of compassion. Jesus, it is this that makes us to walk. It is this that makes us to sit down and say, what can we do? Oh. Wow. 
worship worship it oh god you are going to give us multiplied tracts production hundreds of be going be going be going you have two machines be going be going be going be going worship 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 to you be glory to you be honor jesus compassionate heart feel it sinners are going to hell they don't know it they're gathered there in catholic church they're gathered there in the churches in the village jesus is not there various churches under various names jesus is not there god give us sympathy for them god give us sympathy for them god give us sympathy for them let's feel for them let's feel for them Thank you, Jesus. You will do it for me. Thank you, Lord. 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 Send out compassion upon the hearts of your children. Send out compassion upon the hearts of your children. Amen. This year, your wisdom will increase. Because the Bible says, He that winners souls must be wise. So God will be adding you wisdom. Wisdom. Go this way. Go that way. Think this way. Think in another way. Uh, uh, this song that we've just sung now, is it not now it was formulated? I say more wisdom is coming on your way. In Jesus' name, Almighty Father, we have started. Today is the beginning. We're coming back tomorrow. Power, power, power. We are ready for your work. Yes, we are going to make meaning out of it. We are going to demonstrate that we came to this campground after your name for a purpose. Where should anybody challenge us? You are in the house of the Lord. You never remembered me. What did you do? Where should God himself challenge us? You are on fruitful tree. You have been planted in the vineyard of the campground and nothing has come out of you. No, it will not happen again. I say it will not happen again. We shall go out. Gwagwalada, hear us. Kwali, hear. Kuje, workers from this camp are coming. I say, workers are coming. All these vehicles we shall enter inside you. I say, be strong, we shall enter inside you. You, that blue, yellow, luxurious bus, you will be taking us to Kuje. We are going to spread Jesus there. Hallelujah. Tell yourself that you shall be well this year. <laughs> you can be seated. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805- 683-4323 You can also reach us through our email address 
Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe
You came from heaven. You died for my sins. You purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. But for my sins, oh Lord Jesus, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Because you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. Oh, oh, oh. you are my living Savior.